U.S. commanders in Iraq ignored evidence of torture and often failed to investigate the killing of civilians. Now, these are the major findings from the leak of 400,000 secret American military files from the whistleblowing website WikiLeaks. Now, the data describes widespread brutal torture of detainees by Iraqi troops, with some documents showing American authorities often turned a blind eye. The Pentagon's condemned what is the largest ever leak of classified documents, saying it will only serve to help America's enemies. The files also reveal that 66,000 civilians were killed in Iraq since the U.S. invaded, even though Washington had denied it kept any such record. The figure doesn't include scores of deaths during the U.S. two major offensives on the city of Fallujah in 2004. Its residents are still fighting the severest consequences of those attacks. Now, you may find some of the pictures in Paula Sleer's report upsetting. His friends are outside fighting for the ball on a football pitch. He's here in the family tent fighting a cancer that's eating away at his head and stomach. I collected the splinters of the rocket after it exploded. Whoever I showed them to said they were American and contaminated, poisoned. After the shrapnel struck 16-year-old Malik's head, a tumour appeared, while his father lost a leg in the attack and also the family's source of income as a taxi driver. I wonder if there are any weapons they didn't use against us. We in Fallujah are all contaminated. Sometimes I can hardly breathe. Iraq is littered with buildings like this that used to be the headquarters of Saddam's secret police. In 2003, several Jadam rockets hit it. The full effect of those weapons is still being felt today. U.S. Marines first bombarded Fallujah six years ago. It came after four employees of the American security company Blackwater were killed and their bodies burnt. A report showed that after the eight-month standoff, higher rates of cancer, leukemia and infant mortality were found here than in Hiroshima and Nagasaki after the atom bomb drop in World War II. We found that the infant mortality rates compared with Egypt and um, Jordan were about four or five times higher um, and about ten times higher if you take a country like Kuwait where there's health, good health care. In the last few years, hundreds of deformed babies have been born in Fallujah's General Hospital. Doctors dub them the white phosphorus children. Between the late 90s and 2003, we had patients with nervous system malfunctions roughly three times a year. At the moment, we're getting three such patients a week. This child was born with one eye, and with not a single day going past without a new case being registered, more and more doctors here are pointing a finger at the United States. The American combat operations caused environmental pollution. Both the U.S. and British sides admitted that they employed banned weapons. Dr. Abdul al Faluji is also a father, or at least he was, until a year ago when his 12-year-old son died of cancer. Most parents leave their babies in the hospital. They're scared by the way they look. These babies are doomed to die. And die they do, far from the eyes of the world. Because while Fallujah streets might today be quiet, the city remains cut off from the rest of the country. Doctors here say they're under pressure to keep quiet. Paulus Lea RT, Iraq.